If you remember me, I am the gypsy. The last lover couldn't be here, so I have, have taken a bit of his hosting uh, job. We could see what he's up to, but let's see what he's in, in the future because right now we know, and that's boring. So let's see what he's doing in the future. In the cup of time. Are you all right? <laughs> Look at what you... <laughs> if you didn't want my help, then why did you came to me? Oh. Doctor, get my glasses. Today is a weird place. It was insane. I'm, I'm just happy to be back here in the north, in the land of Lunov. Although ah, it was so warm. I mean, I didn't, I couldn't, couldn't wear anything. It was freakishly hot. Not even did we meet a lot of people. I mean, ah, but the consequences this time. The things that happened. Let me tell you about it. First of all. We entered the gate for um, the, air, the air avatar gate. We entered that and then we found the seal. The seal for the ratio, the fifth anti element. And I'm telling you, we had this huge fight with Arcus. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We didn't actually have a fight. Although we did show up there, ready to beat his ass. But he just fainted. Nothing happened. He just did his speech like Ish is over. Then everybody, all his soldiers, everything just kaput. They fall over and, and then of course we from the fire camp just rush in and take him away. Of course I didn't shiver my pants whatsoever. Well, we captured Argus and he, he needed to be transported from camp to camp apparently. I'm not entirely sure, it was something with him and Felia Strongbow, which is kind of the same person. 
needed to be transported from element camp to element camp. If he didn't, uh, Argus would take over and... World will go on, yada yada yada. But this resulted in the most funny thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, people were pushing... We had him in this cage, right? So people were pushing his cage. They couldn't push him for more like two feet or two steps. And they either fleed, fell over, turned to stone, I don't know, but yeah, I, I shouldn't touch it with my little finger. I don't really go into a lot of that stuff. I mean, when I was out looking, I just tried to stay alive. There was, for instance, there was these goblins. I'm pretty sure they wanted to kill me. They were just dancing around and then from one second to the next, they just stopped, looked at me, pointed their green dirty fingers, and then they just went, we want him for supper. Well, they didn't actually say that, but it's a goblin. What can you what can you inspect? Also, mad cat girl, cat person. <laughs> By the name of Irish Isis, Iris Isis. Although she's not a cat person anymore, Isis came by our camp and visited us. <laughs> Brood in our alchemy lab. I, 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 that smelled. Oh, of course, there was also. We've caught Mets, the Kutcher Gilde, finally. And these guys, these guys, they will get beaten, I'm telling you. Unfortunately, we did kind of get beaten up by them. So, although not alone, apparently all the other gangs doesn't like us very much. I don't know why. If it went out for that city guard, we would have beaten them the first time. If it worked for that hairy dwarf woman, it would be dead. Ugh. Although I would rather have her put a bandage on me than the doctor. You know, he's not even a doctor. He shouldn't be putting bandages on cutting in people. He's doing pretty well, but... <laughs> oh. Ugh. Although there's the final battle. The huge, the largest battle I have ever seen, and I wasn't a part of it. Now you might be thinking, that's because I'm a coward. I'm not. <laughs> I'm definitely not a coward. I'm the most brave soldier there is, although I'm not a soldier. The story is, that we were kind of investigating the last seal created by the four. I think there were four. There were five. Maybe there were three. Well, it was the creatures. We were investigating the last seal. Now I don't fancy myself much of an investigator, but I do know how to fix all the, you know, locks and traps. It might be useful in this kind of situation. Suddenly there's just this huge army in front of the seal, and the seal is this like this small pyramid uh, a castle ruin with a lot of big, big blue crystals. There's this huge army suddenly of undead, swat's eyes, pestilence, everything. We couldn't get away. We were locked in there. Us, we, how many were we? We were like, I think we were 30. And there was like 800, 8,000, like 10,000 undeads. 10,000 undeads. And I'm telling you, they were everywhere. And we couldn't get out. We could not get away. Of course, we were fighting them to left and right. They couldn't enter the seal, so we were quite safe. And we also had an Archon. They did slay most of that army. <laughs> Archons are not to be messed with. So most of the battle we were actually just sealed away and uh, until we saw Sam, the fire turtle Sam. He came and he saved us, of course with the fire can at his back, but mostly Sam. <laughs> Seeing that humongous Red turtle, undead, just going left and right. That was a sight for gods. Ugh. Oh, but you probably don't want to know all these stories. But it all ended. Everything with the seal got open. Apparently from the inside. Weird enough. <laughs> and in a year's time, there's probably... They're talking about doing an expedition through the seal. They call it the mirror world. Why? Because it's full of mirrors? I don't know. They just call it the mirror world. Mm.
I'm actually looking forward to it. <laughs> looking forward to the expedition. Mm. Maybe I should take a nap. First, before continuing. Well, once you're in water, we meant to start.